Hello, um, I'm Mike, and uh, we're now at step three of our cartridge swap. And step three is uh, we're now going to set the alignment. So step one, we swapped out the cartridges. Step two, we checked the tracking force with our digital tracking force stylus meter. And now step three, we're going to check the alignment. Now on this particular table, normally during this stage, we would also check the azimuth. However, this particular table and like the regular tables, the tone arm is not adjustable with the azimuth. Um, I do know that on the Audio Technica, you can buy uh, an adap a different adapter um, for the cartridge housing that allows you to adjust that if you so desire. Um, however, the manufacturer, you know, they believe in their design that that wasn't needed. Okay, that being said, let's check the alignment. And uh, with this alignment tool, it has a mirror along with the lines. And what that allows me to do is also look underneath up into the cartridge to make sure that um, I'm perfectly square and straight. So on, on a, these alignment tools, you basically have a little dot right in the middle that I'm aiming for. And I want to be very careful once again, not to damage the needle. So I want to make sure that I'm never shifting the platter when I, once I lower that down. So I'm going to lower it down nice and easy, see where I'm at. Okay. I can see I need to go back just a little bit. Back here. Okay, now here we go. And okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my time and I can see right away I'm pretty far off. So I'm gonna have to twist it this way just a little bit. And so I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna bring this back over here to a nice safe spot. And I'm going to Basically just twisting it a little bit. And now I'm going to go back and see how close I got. And I can see I could probably already uh, go a little further. So before I even go down, I can already see that I can go a little bit further, which I will do. Looking pretty darn square here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is check the upper section where it tracks, so that when the tone arm is tracking across or the cartridge is tracking across the album that's perfectly square and aligned the entire time so So yeah, when I'm looking at this, I can see that um, I'm pretty square there as well. So now what I'm gonna do is rest it back in the resting spot. I'm going to 
tighten the screws. And not too tight, we're not cranking it down. And then I'm gonna check one more time, just because this is where it's okay to have a little OCD and then make sure you get it just right. I can see it twisted a little bit because perfection is an, is an absolute must. I'm going to twist it back just a little bit just to make sure. And then we will check the tracking force one more time at the very end. Okay, folks, we look like we are dead on, up and down. And so the last thing we're gonna check is the tracking force, just to make sure we didn't throw anything off. And again, you wanna be very, very, very careful with the needle that once you have it set, that you don't move the platter at all. Okay, I'm showing 2.46, which was exactly where we were before. And that's where we need to be in um, our um, range. So that completes um, step three. And uh, for the final step, we'll set it up in uh, one of our downstairs sound systems and uh, make sure it sounds good. So thank you again for visiting us at Gestalt Hi-Fi and uh, feel free to contact us anytime. We'll see you at stage four.